Professor Wale Adeniro. I'm the uh, General Secretary of NENA, Nigeria Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self Determination, Mr. Tony Naji. And the big masquerade of today, our father, our leader, the Alan of the Yoruba race and the worldwide leader of Ilano Mudua, Professor Senator Kwanji Akutoye, who at the same time is the chairman of NINA, and who will be delivering the uniquely special address of today. Professor Fanji Akitoye, you are welcome, sir. Thank you. The floor is yours. Thank you. Settle down. Settle down. Prof, it was not do what you want. It don't do what you want. Professor Medenbenya, our leader from the United States, he has come all the way from the United States. Professor Mayo, what will you say? Once again, Koiki Media bringing the world closer to your doorstep. Um, before we before we commence the announcements and the reading of the text, may I introduce Professor Maya Wahbudubi of Temple University of the United States of America, who came specially because of this. Once again, Koi Kimida bring the world closer to your doorsteps. Everything is 
To the studio, yes, yeah, on Zoom, yeah, check, on check. Zoom. So is, Zoom. It, is it on his name? What name is on that? It's on, um, What's the name? Doctor Adejo. You will see Doctor Adejo. Doctor Adejo. Doctor Ake Adejo. It's what you will see. Doctor Ake Adejo. And look at his face. You will, uh, you will also recognize him. We need to start before we leave this place. Okay. Have you identified him? He's waving. He's waving his hand. He's, he's in white. Okay. Okay. Um, George. George. 
Let him wave. Uh, let him raise his hand on the divider. He's waving. Yeah, he's waving. No, let him raise his hand on the divider. Say wait to, from the divider. Let him raise his hand. Hey, Doctor Dejo. Okay. Please come over. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I know. <laughs> Get him to raise his hand. A wave. No, get him to raise his hand. He just wave. I mean, no. as if. There are thousands of people. Raise hand. Raise hand. Okay. A set here, Father. Okay. Set here. Yeah. Okay. Set it properly. Should it capture? Yes. Yeah. In white. In white dress. And then you cap. Okay. okay. We're good to go now. Okay. Don't tell us. When it's done, then the same camera will shoot to me. Be careful. Be careful. No, no, no. Okay, please. That's absolute that's silence. Okay. I You have enough lights to see. You know, the, the, the statement will come to me, don't do that. The statement will come to me. You see, as we mean, as we mean, as we mean, as we are losing light. We are losing light. Okay. 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 One, two. Yeah. 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 Okay, sir. Please take it. Once it starts, please let's go to the back. I want to welcome you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the press, thank you for assembling in such large numbers for this historic moment. I also want to thank the significant, uh, important citizens of our who are here today. I thank particularly Tony Nadi the Secretary of uh, the Ni uh, Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination, NINAS. I thank the, the Chairman of uh, Ilana Omodua. I thank Professor Mayo Waubedembe from the United States, one of our leaders in the United States. I thank uh, uh, my son, Ademola Edward, also from the United States, who is a very important person in the evolution of a united front of Yoruba people in the diaspora. I, I thank you all. I thank uh, 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 Shade Olukoya, a treasurer of Ilana Wondu, and I thank Mrs. Akitoye, my wife, who's who, uh, said, who insisted on being this very historic moment. We well, thank you for being here. God, God bless you all. I cannot mention only Babawa, uh, uh, Chief Ali Oyedeji from the uh, Ogun, Upper Ogun, part of your state. Baba, thank you very much. Thank you all. Please don't uh, take it against me if I don't mention your name. Because there are so many. Eh? Yes. Baba. Yes, 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 yes. They are meeting. Chief Imam. Chief Imam. Oh, uh, Chief Imam. On mute. Oh, uh, Yoruba of Ilone uh, of uh, yeah, Kawara State. Thank you for coming. He was here. He was here. He was here. He was Oh, okay. They want me to start now. Just listen to the man. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, uh, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen of the press, thank you for being here. And uh, thank you all for honoring this very historic moment in the life of our people. I thank uh, the leader, the chairman of uh, Ilanamo Dua. Uh, Professor Wali Adenina. I thank uh, the uh, Secretary Homeland 
uh, the Homeland Secretary of Vilanoma Odua. I thank Professor Mayo Wawgedengwe from the United States, who has found time to make it to come for this conference. I thank uh, uh, Dimala Edward, who is a very important person in the evolution of a united front for our people in the diaspora. I thank you all. I thank you, Ababa, Chief uh, Oyedeji, from the Okobu area of our state. Thank you all. Thank you very much. And thank you, Mrs. Akintoye, my wife, who is great, who is joyful to see this very historic moment. And it's here with us. I don't want to, I cannot mention many more names. We have a short time to get this done. There are, uh, this is being carried worldwide on Zoom. And there are already thousands of people who are taking part across the world. So it's a very major, major event in the life of our people. This is the, and I thank all the 130 signatories to the December 16, 2020 Constitutional uh, Force Major Declaration. Uh, I know you are not here, but I know that you are watching, but you are taking part from different parts of the world. This is the Constitutional Force Major Union dispute and the expiration, uh, uh, the expiration of the 90-day notice of grave constitutional grievances. And the subject of today is the next step for the trapped ethnic nations of Nigeria. The next steps for the trapped ethnic nations of Nigeria. This is the text of a world press conference by the Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination, NINA. And it has been delivered by me as chairman of the, of the alliance, uh, Professor Bangi Akintoye. Thank you, everybody. As the distressed Federation of Nigeria continues to wobble through what seems its terminal throes, it will be recalled that the Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination, NINAS, aggregating the indigenous nations and peoples of southern and middle belt of Nigeria, who have found themselves at the receiving end of a most vicious ethnic cleansing onslaught by heavily armed invading Fulani Belichia, who are masquerading as herdsmen, formally declared a union dispute with the Federation of Nigeria as represented by the federal government of Nigeria via the Constitutional Force Major Proclamation of December 16, 2020 in which it made a five-point demand upon the federal uh, government of Nigeria to formally commence the, re the remediation of the great constitutional grievances enumerated in the said proclamation within a period of 90 days, beginning from the midnight of December 16, 2020. The full text of the December 16 proclamation was published, uh, was published unedited as an advertorial in the January 20, 2021 uh, edition of the Guardian newspaper at pages 38, 39, 41, uh, 40, and 41. Hard copies of the pro proclamation were also dispatched to the President of Nigeria the Secretary General of uh, uh, the Secretary of the Government of the Federation of Nigeria, the President of Nigerian Senate, the Speaker of the Nigeria's House of Representatives, the Nigerian Governance Forum, the Conference of Speakers of State Assemblies of Nigeria, the United Nations, the European Union, African Union Missions in Nigeria, and the Ambassadors of the United States, China, Russia, France. Germany, Belgium, and Japan to Nigeria, the High Commissioners of the United Kingdom and Australia to Nigeria, ECOWAS Secretariat 
and other stakeholder institutions and agencies. We report to you now that at the expiration of the 90 day period notice by the midnight of, of uh, March 16, 2020, no formal contact was made with NINAS by the federal government of Nigeria. And so we are gathered here today, March 17, 2021, at 5 p.m., to inform our people in all our three regions, as well as the international community, what our next steps will be in our resolve to act extricate ourselves from the death trap and bondage unitary Nigeria has become to our various peoples. In refusing to step forward to the table of dialogue and negotiation, and in the characteristic arrogant disposition of the federal government of Nigeria, we wish to call your attention to several knee-jack patchwork and the bad faith options that the federal government of Nigeria chose to pursue in desperation to once again evade the sovereignty question it had been evading since 1967. Instead of embracing the comprehensive framework tabled uh, by the Nigerian Indigenous Nationality Alliance for Self-Determination, NINA, via the December 16, 2020 proclamation. In this regard, we note the emergency conference anchored by channels television and tagged pulling Nigeria back from the brink, featuring Nasir El Rufai, governor of Kaduna State, who chaired the APC restructuring committee, Dr. Kayo De Fayeme, governor of Ekiti State, who is chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, as well as Engineer Aberibe, senator and Senate Minority Leader. In their various presentations at the conference, they spoke of the urgency of the Nigerian situation. They alluded to many of the grave constitutional grievances raised by the Minas proclamation, but without any direct mention of Minas or the December 16, uh, 2020 force majeure proclamation. In what seemed like an unprecedented bipartisan consensus and legislative executive cooperation, they all agreed that immediate rep remediation steps need to be taken forward, including the return of Niger Delta's oil and gas assets to its owner, the decentralization of policing to allow state and local government police, but most curiously, the proposed urgent amendments of the 1999 Constitution are the invocation of the doctrine of necessity uh, by the National Assembly to commence the remediation process. Ninas interprets this attempt to railroad the resolution of the great constitutional grievances to the National Assembly as a clear-minded invasion of the fundamental sovereignty of uh, sovereignty question relating to the deep distortions of our union agreement constitution, which must now be engaged by the, uh, by the constituent components of Nigeria. The sovereignties are currently hijacked and confiscated by the Nigerian state via the fraudulent 1999 constitution. Whoa. This uh, interpretation stems from the fact that the National Assembly, which, it, which itself is a product of the Constitution, had a, a, a few months ago acknowledged that it has, it has no constitution-making power, as that power vests exclusively in the constituent component nationalities of Nigeria as an incident of their sovereignty. And it, uh, it indeed amounts to treason for the National Assembly or the exclusive branch of the federal government to continue to usurp the sovereignty, uh, the executive branch of the uh, federal government, to continue to usurp the sovereignty of the, pro, uh, of the peoples of Nigeria, confiscated by the fraudulent 1999 constitution, which is already repudiated and rejected by the peoples of Nigeria, 
especially in the Alliance territory, as represented by Nina. Nina also sees external collaboration to this treasonous conduct of the National Assembly when groups of individuals craft and present to the National Assembly proposals inviting the National Assembly to embark on the exercise of writing or, pre or rewrite the Constitution of Nigeria via amendment without the constituent component nationalities first addressing sovereignty is this way. Those external collaborators also talk about inserting a national re referendum provision in the 1999 Constitution at a time when the indigenous nationalities of Nigeria are clamoring for regional referendums to determine their sovereignty. Some talk about re uh, 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 resuscitating the 1963 Constitution, uh, that is Constitution writing, as a way to go. This also amounts to evading the sovereignty uh, discussion. Nina's unequivocally rejects these propositions insofar as they would operate to commandeer and railroad our hijacked collective sovereignty to the National Assembly. There was also a recent suggestion by Nigeria's Senate President, Lawan, uh, Senator Lawan that the assignment of constitutional rules to traditional rulers in Nigeria will solve the broken down security of Nigeria. These are all parts of begging the question. We have to talk, uh, we, ha we have to ask Mr. Senate President, why have state governors who have constitutional rules not resolved the security nightmares of Nigeria or even of the various states? In all, it is clear to Ninas that both the federal government of Nigeria and the National Assembly of Nigeria are fully aware of the grave constitutional grievances of the constituent component nationalities of Nigeria, but are unwilling to address the, gr uh, the grievances, thereby inviting upon us all a dangerous regime of self-help especially against the hydra-headed monster of gross insecurity running wild all over Nigeria. Wearing at, wearing at various times the garment of Boko Haram, Fulani herdsmen, Mijeti Yala, or bandits. Five, for the benefit of those who may not have read the December 16, 2020 Constitutional First Major Proclamation, and for the purpose of putting a contextual backdrop to the uh, post-notice action outline that we shall be spelling out today, permit me to read in full the five demands of the December 16, 2020 Proclamation, along with the paragraphs immediately preceding the demand and the one immediately after it, that is the closing paragraph, so that we can better understand the reasoning behind the extraordinary measure of constitutional force major, as well as the implications for the depressed Nigerian Union and various stakeholders, including government, political parties, and international interests. And I quote, now I quote, quote, Accordingly, this is from the 2020 December 16 proclamation. Quote, accordingly, with the undersigned, being accredited, accredited representatives of the indigenous nationalities of Nigeria, South and Middle Belt territory, here in after called the Alliance territory, constituting over 75% of the population of Nigeria, on behalf of the peoples of the Alliance territory, and in the invocation of the universal rights of the uh, uh, appurtenant to our sovereignty, as indigenous peoples of the distressed Nigerian Federation, including the right to self-determination, as enshrined in the United Nations Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous Peoples 2007, uh, in the, uh, as well 
as the United Nations Charter on Human Rights, having exhausted every democratic, people-driven process in seeking an orderly redress for the first, uh, for the aforementioned grave constitutional grievances emanating from the unilateral imposition of a unitary constitutional order on our supposed federal union by a section of Nigeria that has also imposed Sharia in their own part of our supposed secular union. And now, in circumstances that have become an extraordinary emergency for our people, being confronted by the clear and present danger of extermination in the hands of our supposed com compatriots in Nigeria, who are pursuing an ethnic cleansing campaign against the indigenous nationalities of Nigeria, hereby declare a sovereignty dispute with the Federation of Nigeria as represented by the federal government of Nigeria on account of our repudiation and rejection of the post-1999 Constitution of Nigeria, whose authorship was fraudulently imputed to us by the preamble to that Constitution in its false claim that, quote, we the people may enacted and gave to ourselves the said 1999 Constitution with a further lie in that same preamble that we had firmly and solemnly resolved to submit our people and our, and our lands into the Union of Nigeria. Furthermore, in invocation of our long suppressed collective sovereignties, we hereby proclaim a constitutional force major effective from the midnight of the 16th day of December 2020 with a 90-day notice to the government of the Federation of Nigeria, the Security Council of the United Nations, the government of the United States of America, the European Union and the African Union, as well as international other agencies of the international community, of the intention of the peoples of the Alliance territories to reconsider our continued allegiance to the disputed 1999 Constitution, as well as the unitary union of death, attrition, and backwardness that it has foisted upon us. For the sake of peace and to avoid anarchy, it is our demand that in the 90-day period of this notice, the following specific actions must be taken by the federal government of Nigeria to firmly set in motion an irreversible process by which the aforementioned great constitutional grievances will be addressed. A. A formal announcement by the federal, federal government of Nigeria. These are the specific demands. A formal announcement by the federal government of Nigeria acknowledging the constitutional grievances and sovereignty dispute now declared by the peoples of the South and Middle Belt of Nigeria. B a formal commitment by the federal government of Nigeria to the wholesale decommissioning de 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 and jettisoning of the 1999 constitution as the basis of the Federation of Nigeria as was done by the government of apartheid era South Africa in 1990 to commence the process by which the apartheid constitution of the then South Africa was eased C, a formal announcement by the federal government of Nigeria so, suspect, suspending further general elections under the disputed 1999 constitution. Since winners of such elections will swear to and govern by that constitution. D. D. A formal invitation to the peoples of the South and Middle Belt of Nigeria to work out and in place a transitional authority which has. Uh, uh, specify the, uh, the, the modalities for the transitioning process, including the composition and mandate of the transitional authority, as well as the time frame for the transitioning and other ancillary matters. E, a formal in initiation of a time-bound transitioning process to, uh, to midwife the emergence of a fresh constitutional process by a two-stage process in which the constituent regional bloc will be uh, uh, will, uh, will, uh, will, will at the first stage distill and 
ratify the various constitutions by referendums and plebiscites in the second state. Negotiate, and in the second state, negotiate the terms of federating oppression as may be di dictated by the outcomes of the referendum and plebiscites. By this proclamation, let it be known to all, including international money lenders, that Nigeria is now a disputed project, and that while the constituent component commits to honoring existing international debt obligations, <coughs> we caution that whatever obligations that may arise from any foreign loans contracted by the federal government of Nigeria from the, from the date of this proclamation may come into controversy. Similarly, all loans contracted by the federal government of Nigeria containing any clause that may cede the sovereignty of Nigeria to any part or, or any part thereof in the event of repayment default shall be disputed as illicit and in breach of sovereignty of the Federating Union. We also invite from, uh, politicians from the Alliance territories and all political parties operating in the Alliance territories to take notice that the 1999 constitution by which the winner of any national elections in Nigeria will swear and govern is the very object of the sovereignty dispute we have just proclaimed with a demand that further national elections promised, uh, premised under the repudiated constitution of 1999 be deferred for the purpose of first reworking the damaged constitutional basis of Nigeria. It is therefore our expectation that you, political parties and politicians, will stand with the people you claim to speak you claim or seek to serve as politicians or political parties in their current reserve to wind up the, uh, the operation of the 1999 constitution and to extinguish the source of their, of their misery. If instead of standing with your people, Our problem is that we are talking to the whole world. We are talking to thousands of people across the earth. Expectation. 
It is therefore our expectation that you, our politicians and political parties, will stand with the people you claim to seek to serve as politicians or political parties in their current resolve to wind up the operation of the 1999 Constitution and to extinguish the source of their misery. If instead of standing with your own people, you choose to go to another round of general elections in 2023 under that Constitution, it will simply mean that you are a part of the enemy imposed mechanism for inflicting death, mystery, and impoverishment of your own people for no other reason than for personal gain. The signatories to this proclamation commit themselves to providing a detailed proposition for undertaking this fundamental configuration of the damaged constitutional basis of Nigeria. In this regard, the signatories adopt and incorporate the FNN Alliance's November 16, 2018 Open Memorandum to President Muhammadu Buhari on the restructuring debate reported by the Guardian of November 18, 2018 as an outline of our prescriptions in this proclamation. Issued this 16th day of December 2020. End of quote. Six, before I proceed with the next steps, and the next steps are very important, permit me to make a new, uh, a new clarification, a few clarifications about the nature and substance of the sovereignty dispute we, de uh, we declare, and about the exact remediation propositions we made. One. The constitutional force major is a carefully designed, decisive action process that will continue until it achieves its twin objectives of peacefully easing out the imposed fraudulent 1999 constitution of Nigeria and the orderly emergence of successor constitutional protocol in keeping with the self-determination rights of the constituent components, component ethnic nations of the distressed federation of Nigeria. It is therefore not a one-day amargadon in which the roof of heavens will fall upon the earth, as been speculated by some commentators, whether out of ignorance or out of ignorance or mischief. Two, the 90-day period of notice was for the federal government to fully consider the grievances raised and to bring itself to the table of dialogue set up by the agreed constitutional components of Nigeria. In that period, Ninas persuaded the peoples of the Alliance plot to refrain from any act that might aggravate the, vol the volatile situation of Nigeria, even in the face of severe pro uh, provocation such as when, amidst much killings across, the, across Nigeria, the governor of Bauchi State, Bala Mohammed, recklessly declared that the murderous Fulani herdsmen rampaging everywhere in Nigeria had the right under the constitution to be, every, every part, to be in every part of Nigeria and to carry AK-47 rifles. This means that after the 90-day period of notice, the peoples of Nigeria as ag aggregated in the alliance will proceed with various processes towards achieving the objectives of the Demand 16 2020 proclamation, namely, the easing out of the fraudulent 1999 constitution and the distillation of successor <coughs> constitutional protocols. Two, the next line of action expressly indicated by Ninas in the proclamation is that of reconsideration of the continued allegiance to the 1999 Constitution. It is important to state that here 
that the exact processes by which the uh, reconsideration will be enacted shall be communicated to the public in measured steps. As the days progress, and so NENAS hereby invites all stakeholders to be on the lookout for directions, every care being taken to avoid anarchy or any kind of breakdown of order. Four, building upon the former repudiation of the 1999 constitution by the constituent components of Nigeria, including by solemn assemblies over the last 20 years, the joint proclamation of December 16, 2020 by NINA was to serve notice of the impending formal withdrawal of the contrived consent forged signature of the peoples of Nigeria by which the 1999 constitution is being sustained and validated as basis of the Nigerian Union and its government. The press conference of today is to commence the retirement process. The press conference of today is to commence the retirement process of the 1999 constitution in a manner that restores the hijacked sovereignties of the constituent components of Nigeria, from which they may freely enter into fresh protocol, all through a transitioning process that retains existing governance structures throughout the transitioning period, as South Africa did to itself, itself out of the apartheid constitution. Constitutional order. Uh huh. Come on, me. How are you? A couple. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Now to the next steps. Huh? Now to the next steps. No, 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 no. Absolute silence, please. All the please way. Silence, silence, please. Absolutely. After due consultation with our stakeholders, bearing in mind that the five point demand contained in the December 16, 2020 proclamation was addressed to the Federal Government of Nigeria, and considering the fact that in the event that matters progressed to the reconsideration of, of allegiance to the 1999 constitution, political office holders from the alliance territories who will be directly impacted may be caught in the middle of a district to which they have not been made parties. Nina uh, uh, therefore deems, uh, deems it appropriate and necessary to first bring in such persons that may be so impacted into the dispute before further notice. Accordingly, NENAS hereby invites all elected public officers, <coughs> office holders from the Alliance territory, that is the Middle, middle Belt, the Southwest, the Southeast, and the South South, within a period of 30 days, commencing from the midnight of March 17, 2020, appropriate communication channels shall be used to formally extend the invitations to affected persons and such uh, details as modalities, dates, time, and venue shall be communicated along with the invitation. Our elected officials, our governors, our senators, our representatives, and so on, well, may claim that they have not been told about this. So in the next, within the next 30 days, we will invite them and place it before them. In the aforementioned 30-day period of consultation, Nina's enjoy the peoples of the Alliance territory, particularly the younger generation. At home and abroad. The younger generation are the most affected by all these things that are happening at home and abroad. It is more your country 
It is more your country than any other person. In the aforementioned 30 day period of consultation, Minas enjoys the peoples of the Alliance territory, particularly the younger generation at home and abroad, whose futures have been badly compromised by the Nigerian state. To intensify the enlightenment about the uh, December 16, 2020 Constitution and First Major Proclamation among the populace, with a view to mobilizing the local populace towards the inevitable engagement with political parties and political marchers from their localities, who, for humongous personal gains, cling tenaciously to the 1999 Constitution, and even planning to partake in further national elections in 2023 under that constitution at a time when the people they claim to lead and represent are struggling to ease out the same 1999 constitution from which all their mysteries flow, including killing, gross insecurity, and mass impoverishment, and which make them slaves in their own homeland. The political parties must now be persuaded to close shop forthwith, albeit temporarily, until the constitu constitution by which the winners of any future elections, especially the 2020 election, will govern. Since all political parties in Nigeria operate under the 1999 constitution, and the winners of any elections must swear to and govern by the 1999 constitution. This 30 day period, of consultations offers the federal government of Nigeria a fresh window of opportunity beyond the 90 days period of notice that expired March 16, 2021, to bring itself to the table of dialogue and, and, and negotiations set up by the constituent com com components of Nigeria by way of the, uh, the December 16, 2020, Nina's proclamation. Being all agreed that no progress is possible for the peoples of Nigeria under the 1999 Unitary Constitution. We cannot be proclaiming restructuring. We do not proclaim restructuring. We are not talking about restructuring. Resource control, rule of laws, uh, security, end SARS, end corruption, or even good governance, and still be warning, we are be warming up to go we are talking about all, we cannot be talking about all those things and still be warming up to go to another round of general elections in 2023 that will renew the life of the 1999 constitution, which, which guarantees unitarism, resource hijack, impunity, insecurity, SARS killing, corruption, and bad governance. We must now We must now get honest with ourselves and turn off the tap from which these evils flow without further delay. And all these evils flow from the 1999 Constitution. The 1999 Constitution is that tap. In closing, in closing, let it be clearly understood that in the face of the demise of the 1999 Constitution and the right. The, the rapid progression towards self-help across Nigeria. Across Nigeria, by people who find themselves under the invasion of murderous, heavily armed full and militia masquerading as herdsmen, while the security agents look the other way, it is only a matter of time for the bloody altercations that are currently building up to explode into the violent uh, disintegration of Nigeria with the cat catastrophic consequences.
this time to turn it again. Yeah. Is this better now? Okay, all right, okay. Is that okay? Once again, can you give me your packet of water? Is it okay now? It's okay now. It's okay now. It's okay now. Okay, it's okay now. Let it also be understood. That the propositions of December 16, 2020 proclamation by the Nigerian Indigenous Nationalist Alliance for self-determination in us offers Nigeria, Nigerians, and the concerned international community the most viable, most comprehensive, and most peaceful framework for undertaking the inevitable fundamental reconsideration of the damaged constitutional basis of Nigeria. As you may all recall, as we may all recall, the situation of Nigeria compelled the United Nations Special Area Rapporteur to Nigeria. As we may all recall, the situation of Nigeria compelled the United Nations Special Rapporteur to Nigeria, Agnes Kolamad, in a September 2019 visitation to describe the constitutional arrangement of Nigeria as, I'm quoting her now, a pressure cooker for injustice. That's what the United Nations representative said. That the 1999 Nigerian constitution is, quote, a pressure cooker for injustice in circumstances that pose a threat to global security in the event, in the event that Nigeria snaps. Since the most notorious global terror networks, including ISIS and Al Qaeda, are already converging uh, uh, in, uh, in the large swathes of ungoverned spaces in Nigeria, offers and with, uh, with frightening prospects of an unprecedented refugee crisis for the world, should Nigeria become broken. As we sit here today, we are already seeing the beginnings of the flood of Nigerian refugees into the rest of West Africa, particularly the Yoruba who are now taking refuge in, taking refuge in Benin Republic. So it's already happening. What that woman said could happen is already happening. Now that Sheikh uh, uh, Gumi has helped us piece together the last pieces of the jigsaw puzzle regarding who are the terrorists tormenting Nigeria, where they are, what their motives are, what the Nigerian government and security agencies know, and the ethno religious fissure within the terror battlefield, Ninas is confident that the illusions of many, of many Nigerians regarding the monster who are up, whom we are all up against will be dispersed, and more indigenous Nigerians will step forth to embrace the efforts that Ninas is now making. Those who insist on governing Nigeria with the imposed fraudulent and unworkable 1999 constitution as well as those who still aspire to contest election, further national elections under that constitution, should know that they are the ones pushing Nigeria towards a violent disintegration. But the ethnic nations currently trapped in the failed Lugadian experiment of 1914 will do everything legitimate under appropriate international instruments to extricate themselves from the union of death, attrition, and backwardness that Nigeria has become for us. Nenas urges our various peoples across the Alliance territory to remain calm and confident as measure steps are being taken 
towards ending our bondage. For the avoidance of doubt. For the avoidance of doubt. The Nina Proclamation of Constitutional Dispute on December 16, 2020. Please listen to this. For the avoidance of doubt. And this is a very important the most important thing. Yeah, yeah. Even if you have to try this now. Okay, done now. One minute, sir. Did you adjust the voice? They said that you take voice out before I did, and then I put it back. of doubt, the Nina Proclamation of, of Constitutional Dispute of December 16, 2020, terminate, terminated the life of the, fraud, of the fraudulent 1999 Constitution for the avoidance of doubt. The proclamation, the Nina Proclamation of December 2020, of December 16, 2020, mm -hmm terminated the life of the fraudulent 1999 constitution of Nigeria and therefore restored our sovereignty that was confiscated by that constitution. So we now are in control of our own self-determination. What we What we are doing today is to outline the processes and modality for the necessary and orderly transition to our full self-determination and sovereignty in the world. Therefore, we hereby call on the peoples of our alliance territories, the Middle Belt, the South-South, the Southeast, and the Southwest, to rise to the challenge of shaking off the shackles and manacles hitherto imposed on us by the defunct 1999 constitution. The start before our peoples are as follows. One, to put together and perfect the documents of their sovereignty. To put together, to create, to distill, and perfect the documents of their sovereignty, namely the map of their territory. The draft constitutions, they are draft constitution or charters of relationships for those uh, for those uh, units that are multi-ethnic. I repeat, to distill and perfect the documents of our sovereignty, namely, the documents are the following: the exact maps of our territories. Two, and the draft constitutions of our countries, or the charters of relationships for those of our uh, units that are multi-ethnic. Two, to embark upon and intensify 
our efforts towards United Nations mandated referendums and plebiscites. That's the next step. So you young people, you must now go out and tell our people. We have arrived at a point when we will ask the United Nations to come and help us run referendums so that our people can speak about their future. Do we want to be part, continue to be part of Nigeria, or do we want to be independent of Nigeria? Independent. That has to be there. Yeah. Third, in the face of the demise of the 1999 Constitution, which had been in, uh, in, in, if you have been an impediment to the control and management of our territories and resources particularly the 68 item exclusive federal list, the governors of our states in the Alliance Territory are hereby advised to, in the interim, work as their state assembly, talk, work with their state assembly to make necessary legislative and regulatory arrangements for the effective control and security of their respective territories as a part of their transitional process to the new order, which has been commenced today. As a part of the overall management of transition process, we call on our people to cooperate with our state governors for now, for the maintenance of law, order, peace, and good governance in our various states. Thank you all for attention, for your attention. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You may please have your seat. We shall be taking only three questions. Delete. We shall be taking only three questions from the press. A few questions and comments. We're still in the studio. We are still in the studio, please. We'll come back to those three questions. Um, we're still in the studio in London. So we'll come back to you. Please prepare your questions. Only three. Yeah, go on. We can hear you. Can you see him now? Yes, sir. I support my father, then I support my, 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 my land. I support my people in Yoruba. There's no going back for all our father say. We want Yoruba nation. So there's no going back. people. So I know anything our father 
Banji Akito you say is the final. So we are with him, all our people in home and abroad, we support our father to take our land. There's no going back for that statement. We want our nation. You're welcome. Sir. And uh, before we proceed, we have over 50 media houses, uh, local media houses, covering life. And so um, they, they will also ask three questions. We just limit them to three questions so that the whole world can see them and hear them and hear the answers we give to them. Okay. Yeah. on the 16th of December 2020 was to invalidate and terminate the life of that constitution, that contrived constitution because our signature was put on it and we didn't have any meeting, we didn't make the document. And so um, having waited for 90 days for us to, for the federal government of Nigeria to come forward so that we can all begin to work our way to what will replace that document that is now dead, uh, they haven't come. What we're doing today is to proceed with uh, the processes that will, uh, you know, move us to new constitutional arrangements, to fresh protocols amongst ourselves. And then there, there's still a limited, there's still a limited recognition for the sake of peace, for the sake of to, uh, to avoid all sorts of anarchy, uh, you know, until we properly take over all of the functions. But all those impediments thrown at us by that constitution are no longer in, in, in before us. We, we're just going to get those who are in charge. The governors, like you had in the speech, the governors, uh, you know, uh, can now proceed with whatever they need to do to secure their territories, to take hold of their assets, that they can begin to work to, you know, uh, uh, in the interim until proper transitional arrangements are put in place. 
that's where we are now. We're just uh, proceeding with the transitioning. When the federal government makes up its mind, it can come. If it doesn't want to come, the owners of the sovereignty are well in a position to proceed with what they need to do. Seeking referendum. We are going forward, it will go all the way to referendum. Constitutions have been prepared, and uh, the, with the window for dealing with it together is still open in the 30 days of consultations that will have to happen. Now the media of Nigeria. Questions? Questions? Number one. Uh, announce yourself to the hearing of everybody. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on please. We are taking only three questions. Number one. Alaroli. Number two, punch. Number three, inspiration FM. Inspiration FM, which one do you recommend? Punch. Punch is number two. Which one is number three? Inspiration FM, do you recommend? Radio Nigeria. Radio Nigeria. Radio Nigeria. Where is Radio Nigeria? Yes, sir. Hold on, sir. One print, one radio, one TV. Okay. Inspiration is radio. Radio. Okay. Um, radio Nigeria is number three. Inspiration is number four. Number one, please. Okay, my father. Uh, I will mention, mention for the Idaduro. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This interview is going on on a TV platform in London. The whole world is listening. We must speak in a language they can. The whole day is connected with over 500 uh, rebrokers. So please let let uh, let the question let the question be asked so that the answer can go to the whole world at the same time. It's a live program. Please so make put it your briefly in English. I shall push you for um, self-actualization of Oduwa Nation. Some people are clamoring for justice of joy. Do, don't you think um, the aspiration of those politicians who will uh, be a plug in the wheel of actualization of uh, Oduwa Nation? Well, the, the press conference of today is uh, by the Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination, of which the Yoruba Bloc is one. The Eastern Bloc is we there. The middle, we the middle the middle is there. We want Yoruba Nation. There's the, the question of about restructuring again. Any, anybody that wants to ask any question here, don't <laughs> mention restructuring. We want Yoruba Nation. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. <laughs> The question of restructuring does not arrive. Which country do they want to win? The, the, the constitution that creates and defines relationship in the union is now out. The union is at an end as far as that constitution is the basis. So which country do they which country want to, do they want to restructure? restructure? The business to be done now is to see whether what, what the nationalities that were trapped here since 1914, since 1999, by that constitution, will do with their sovereignties. But first order of business, if that constitution must be completely out of everybody's life, Yoruba will take back their sovereignty and decide what they do with uh, their neighbors. If there's anybody in the union who has embraced a civilization that requires him to kill others as infidels, or who says he's born to rule others because uh, he, he's uh, of one stock, ethnic stock or the other, then the rest of Nigeria is saying very clearly to them today that that union imposed on everybody by them, in which lives are no longer sacrosanct, the federation was supposed to be has, is no longer a federation, the secular union was supposed to be is no longer in place because some people embrace Sharia. All of that put together. There's no Nigeria that can be restructured right now. The constitution that creates Nigeria is in this yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? Hello? I will stay there. Go ahead, ask your question. On mute, on mute. Yes. On mute. Right. Okay, fine. Where, 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 where did we live out? No, did it, no, punch. You, did, you didn't hear the question punch asked. Punch asked. Punch asked. Punch Was it really Nigeria? Please repeat your question. Repeat your question so I can answer again. They didn't hear. 
Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Are you sure that you're not? Can we get a brand in the phone? Can we get a brand in the phone? Okay. Can we? Can I? Can, if you can take it. They can hear anybody. There's too much noise in their studio. Every single thing happens here. They are hearing every conversation. So let us keep it cool. Please. Who, who is the next question? Who is the next Let's question? have one house. Punch. He's disturbing the uh, signal. Thank you. Can we, can we carry on? Can you hear us now? OK. Uh, the last question was from Ala Royer. And he was asking about uh, the, the matter of restructuring that some people are clamoring for restructuring at a time we are making all these propositions and that uh, what how do we how do we deal with all of it the answer i was given the answer i was given on behalf of ninas is that there is a union dispute around the very country nigeria the constitution that creates and defines the relationship in that union is in distress the owners of the sovereignty that, uh, that, that are corralled into Nigeria are pulling back their signature from the forged instrument. They rejected the constitution that created the union. Their sovereignty is on the table now. Yoruba is taking back its sovereignty. The eastern part and the middle belt are taking back their sovereignties, and they will decide what they will do next with their sovereignty until it goes all the way to a referendum. If, if after 90 days the operators of Nigeria do not want to take, come to table, for us to work it out together. The sovereignty of the components are in their hands. It is up to them to decide what they do with it, and nothing will stand their way until they get to where they recover it fully. The people talking about restructuring, you should, people should ask them back, which country do they want to restructure? There is no union. The, the union of Nigeria is, at a, is, is distressed at this moment, and the sovereignties of the constituent components is not dependent on anybody. Uh, to agree with them or not agree with them. Yoruba wants out. Next question. Everybody else wants out. Next question, please. Punch. Punch. My question is, uh, in this situation, we still have a government. We yeah. have the state government. Yes. I mean, the state governors. We have six, gov uh, six governors from of six states of Southwest. Yes. Now, how do we ensure there is no confusion? Do you have the support of the governors of the Southwest or is it is this going to run in spite of them? We have we 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 issued our collective position. The indigenous nationalities of Nigeria across the whole of the South and Middle Belt issued our position, a proclamation on the 16th of December. In that proclamation, and I will invite the media to please go back to it. Guardian newspaper has it on the front page today. The New Telegraph has it at the back page today. The, the, the website of uh, the NINAS, www.freedomfromnigeria.com, let all the media houses go and read the proclamation itself because we spoke about this in that proclamation, that we recognize there's a government in place. We're not anarchists. We have offered, NINAS has offered those operating the Nigerian Union, the Nigerian uh, the government at this time, the Nigerian state at this time, we offered them a transitioning. We said, look, Stay, let the existing governance structures remain in place so that we can go to exactly what South Africa did with apartheid constitution in 1990 that lasted four years before they got to new things. Therefore, if after 90 days 
they are not coming forward. Since after I seen it. Since after they, they, since they haven't come forward. We again said today, you go and read what we put out today, that there is another 30 days that will commence from midnight of uh, March uh, 17, 2021, within which the elected representatives of uh, the three oh, blocks in the them. alliance, the component, uh, the regions uh, in the alliance, that is elected representatives from Yoruba land, from the eastern part, including the south, south, and southeast, from the middle belt, we, uh, they have been recalled, they have been, they have been invited to come home to their respective regions to consult because the next step after what has been done already, as we said in that proclamation of, uh, of uh, 2020, the next step, which is the reconsideration of our allegiance to that constitution, will affect those people who are in Abuja representing these uh, alliances, uh, alliance uh, blocks. And so we just are given another 30 days within which they, they should come to discuss with the people they represent in that uh, Abuja and all the other people who are acting on behalf of uh, with that constitution. So in that 30 days, in the in the in the in the uh, conference uh, press conference text of today, we again reminded the federal government that the window is still open for them to turn up, but we're not waiting for them for anything. The constitution is in distress, the sovereignties of the people who are trapped in this union by that constitution is on the table for them to work out an orderly way of uh, achieving them. The governors, again, we already told our people to please work with the governors in the interim. The state assemblies work with the governors. Anything that that constitution prevented them from doing before, they have to just sit down and if they have to pass laws, if they have to make regulations to go and uh, begin to do those things. The security of their people cannot depend on anything anybody is saying from anywhere else. The assets that belong to them that have been taken away, that's that exclusive list. Yes. The action that have been taken by the owners of Nigeria in exercise of their sovereignty puts that exclu exclusive list on the side. When he on today, I, as, I was, as, as we were coming here, I was looking at the newspapers. The governor for your state is asking the people in Abuja to remove solid minerals from the exclusive um, Inspiration FM, please. Okay, one professor was uh, reading his speech. He yes. mentioned the referendum. Yes. And we all, uh, we all saw what uh, how uh, Brexit went. Yes. Now, the question is, is your revival ready to present a common front with other from or other blocks to get this done? That's my question. They've been working, they've been, they've been working, they've been working for 21 years now. We are only at the terminal stage of a long process to retrieve our sovereignty that have been hijacked by by the defunct by the carcass of the defunct federation. Nigeria as a federation collapsed in 1966. The people who seized the carcass and who now managed to impose a constitution that pretends that Nigeria is still in place, the Nigeria we, we agreed upon was to be a federation, was to be a secular union was to be a union of equal partnership. Some people hijacked it. It is our sovereignty that we're talking about now because they put our signature on the forged instrument by which they're holding our sovereignties and our assets. What we have done now is to, we're just bringing a, a, you know, a, a framework for an orderly transition from where we are now, where that constitution has collapsed and the unitary union is at an end to the thing that will replace it. That's where the referendum comes. The global community is listening. The UN had come here in 2019 to announce to the rest of the world that the killings who going on here is on account of the of our constitution that is like pressure cooker for injustice. The UN Special Rapporteur to Nigeria, uh, uh, you know, Agnes Kalamat. And so we've come to where we just need to take the balance of the process that will free those sovereignties so that we can enter into fresh protocols. There's no quarrel. You can see the Yoruba is here, the Middle Belt, everybody's here. The people who are causing the problem, who are killing in all the places, are the only problem we have. So those people who owe it a duty of faith to kill everybody else, those people who say we cannot be in a union of equal partnership are just the ones uh, we have. Uh, just to put a process to it so it doesn't become disorderly. We hope and pray that those who are in government house will listen to their people and come for us to work it all out together. Because people are already resorting to self-help. 
only statesmen, the people, the Ninas, is a, a garden of statesmen that are now saying we must stop this before it gets, you know, consumes everybody. Now, and now, uh, 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 Professor Kito will, uh, you know, uh, uh, give his own uh, answer to that question. Yes, uh, the new day has actually been proclaimed. We have reached a point at which we can define our status. We have defined. We are going to define our status by the action that we now take. We have, as we have claimed our sovereignty back. The important thing now is how are we going to structure our sovereignty, our self-determination, and the steps are clear. We need a referendum, and we will ask the United Nations to come and do the referendum, the try that they did in Sudan, so that there will be a referendum for the Yoruba people, asking the Yoruba people, what do you want? Continue membership of Nigeria? or your own country. It will ask the people of this the same question. It will ask the people of the Middle Belt the same question. Then secondly, each group must sit down expeditiously and now present their picture of, the, uh, of themselves to the world. Where is the map of your country? <laughs> you might think that those things are not important. They are the most important things in what we are doing now. Where is the map of your country? of the country you are talking about. Where is the map of it? And the constitution. Who are the people who are in that uh, territory? In the case of the Yoruba, we can ans answer, oh, we, the Yoruba people, are in that territory, are, uh, 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 surrounded by the, uh, by the boundaries of that map. Where, how, how do you want to govern yourself? That means we must write a constitution. And for the Yoruba people, it is easy. We are one nation. We can sit down, appoint our lawyers from every direction to write our constitution. And they can get it done very quickly. Every group must have its own constitution because the world is going to ask for that. Before the United Nations will say, okay, we are going to organize a referendum for you, they want to see those things. So we must produce them now. That's it. And then all the youth, all the Yoruba youth in this, our land support our part. We are on support our father because we know this is our father, this is our real father that he know that he know he know to fight for our rights in our in our land to come and disturb our father, our farms, our sister. If you are meeting full and as man, we are ready to face him and destroy them. Yeah. Starting from now. Of course. If any police oh. attack us for that, we are ready for them. We are ready. Young black people ready to this country. To, 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 we are ready for, to, to, to face the country that uh, you don't have mercy for Yoruba. Mm -hmm. We have taken back our territory. Yesterday, Yoruba we met, many, my father, I meet some, maybe like a five years old boy, six years, there is no father, they don't have house to sleep, they don't, they don't have anything. Mm -hmm. If you see this, 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 all this boy, small boy, they smoke in, in their hair, I swear. Mm -hmm. I, oh my God, this country is finished. We don't want Nigeria anymore. We want <laughs> Yoruba nation. And we are, we are not fear anybody. We, don't we fear only God. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. There's no great back. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. 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 I support Baba. Baba, 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 Baba,
Tori pe Olorun lo gbe baba wa dide o ti fi awo omo akikanju ti leyi eru kan baba wa o a beru anybody ni bi ti kan de ro bayi tori pe ilu ti a pera wa ni ilu to pere ni Nigeria ti o si abo fun awa ta wa nbe awon fulani npa wa won ba gbogbo duki a baba wa je won fi tun ti won se won re po awon anti wa awon aburo wa won tu se video won mo je ta ri eyin e wa je e tun fun han wa fun di eyi gbogbo e mo gba ru gbogbo odo yoruba toro pe a fe won mo ni ori le wa nbi kaluko dire mu ilu bene republic won o to osun state won to local government jin ba de kini mo so fun yi won da se li aye won won de ngba ru ara won alafia wa nbe abo wa nbe gbogbo awon omo yoruba won ti lo nje aduro won lo se omo odo se nkan orisirisi ni le be na be ne wa ni kan mo gba iwe won le opolopo nigbati a wa gbonju ilu gana won mo wa lu wa le yoruba nbi won mo se so bata sumika eh la ba yo tonjo eh ni bata tonjo ise to wa nse nbi ni e bo nisin awon omo yoruba won ti de eru ni ilu gana de bi pe gana le wa pe ka ma lo lu wa a den pe ra wa ni won nigeria gbogbo agbara tin be lu nigeria nbi o si yoruba me odun keni di logun re ti omo yoruba ti se ig eh burata ya bi kile ton la won le lo le demata yi eh si mo ta fa mi yoruba o de beri ig tin be lu yi awusa fula ni lo se awon non se oga soja awon non so gases awon non so ga gbogbo nkan laye ko si yoruba mi ka won la fun wa ni Vice President, extra tire, Domita, Tio Le Soro, Tio Le Beri, and Tonyo Bafi. And the people go to Baba, but Tonyo Lo Se Lui, one Tawani, one for work back game, one for work business, one for work back contract. So for the day, and then that's the day, go to Baba, Baba, Pata, Pata, La Tori, and the other, go to Baba, Tim Bele, and the one Ben Levi. So Baba, 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 so for a phone, oh, Simbe, oh, the video. Bobo, <laughs> To ba ni ohun ofo si nkan ti baba ba nja ki to se leni a fe ko se video o ti a pe ni pe mo bi ni ra fun yoruba a post it bele lati oni ti baba wa ti soro ti baba wa ti pase a si ni gbagbo pe mi mi o le mi baba aye o de si eni kankan aye ti o le fa omo yoruba kan ni aso ni bi ti ga dero ti a ba gbo mi kan pe Olopa kan tabi soja kan tabi SS kan o fi owo kan mo Yoruba kan yo dogun ni o o ti to ge mo gba lu gbogbo omo Yoruba soro pe a fe gbogbo fulani agbe ni pa lori le wa mo lati sisi lo a de fe gba gbogbo awon baba wa ni anju ton je agbe ko pada soko won lati ola lo a bere si ri gbogbo ile to dele to lati mo ba won soro ka lu gbo mo pada soko re ni ro a de ri pe a moju to won de bi pe a ni ri fulani kan kan ti o yo won lenu mo tori pe awon fulani yi won je oruko on ba duke awon baba wa je won je oko won ba su ba ta ba nkan je lati le je pe ki awon mo ku ata ti mo ati to ma ti mo ati su won ta fu wa won ti so wa deru e ri pe gbogbo le yoruba ni fulani ti wa po a fi fulani oju afi awon baba wa lo a de dupa lo baba wa olubada baba dada won ti yo e ri pe won ti gba agbara ko lowo se ri kikan won ni ko wa la be ba le le to pe bo se ye ko wa ni e gbogbo iya ti awon fulani fi nje wa gbogbo agbara ti won lo yi mo ti bi omo yoruba kan da ko lo ru e ni lu won awa yoruba ta n gbe ni lu won ha lagbara kankan ki lo de ta wa se eru ni ilu ti won ti bi wa ki lo de ti a se eru ni ilu ti won ti bi wa to de je pe awon ti won pera won ni senator ti won pera won ni onerebu ton so lori wa won yin won mo lo ninu goslo won ri awon modun merin awon modun marun ti won ta guguru ti won ta popo won de tun won ra je lohun e ri pe eni parun won so lori gidi so fun die yi a fe won mo o ta fe a e wo ye omo yoruba ti be ka kiri I am only led the new Yoruba part of the law. I am only led the new Yoruba part of the law. Kilo wa de arogo bo agbaye bo bo awo United Nations. Kikiri otondo wa la le koto dogu kwa kwa. 
Oh, so you want to dance? You are going to do it. Don't even be too kind of rosy. I will see the energy. I am going to dance. 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 I am I want only last year. At the last semo, we are no longer interested. Uh, think I want to come A papa, go back to solo the men. Full and new one. Ah, very much. Port, port, you want to import major G. Full and new control one men. Ah, very much. 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 Ah, I want you back and better say I don't see Bobo Boda Wale. should be no reason why we cannot all work together for the purpose of extricating ourselves from this uh, from this problem that Nigeria has become. So my advice to you young people is gather yourself together. Bring yourselves together. Speak to our elders who are still hesitating about Nigeria. There is no need for any Yoruba person to be talking about the structure right now or about a new constitution for Nigeria, or about a resource control, uh, and things like that. The game is up. We have seen enough of Nigeria. We have decided our status in the world today, and let us move forward and implement it. 
smoothly without any violence. Please do not fight anybody, no violence. We are going to have a separate Yoruba country very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yoruba 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 Yoruba